with summer upon us I've not been spending as much time up the loft and um, building the layout so I've been working on small kits and little projects that I can get done downstairs like the overhead masts which I'm continuing to build however this little kit caught my eye and it's a new kit from scalemodelscenery.co.uk and it's the bicycles and the kit is LX041-00 or 00 and in it there is a pack of 15 gents bikes and 10 ladies bikes and if I just show you what's in a pack I have a I've sprayed that with grey primer um, because I'm going to build some of them. Laser board here and there is very fine, very intricate detail on, on each bike um, and obviously the, the female bikes with the drop bar and then the, the male bike with the bar along the, the top there. There is separately fitted seat and handlebars to be cut out and um, glued on. It recommends just using a bit of a, a rocket card glue and that's what I'll be using. There's also super glues you can use I suppose. Um, you know, it's going to be a fine little detailed piece, very delicate to handle. So you want to get something that's going to hold the, the handlebars and the seat on um, securely. So I'll take you through step by step how I'm going to go about these and paint some up and uh, you might want to give it a try yourself and say there's the there's the kit code. I'm really impressed with these actually Jason sent them up for me to, to try out and uh, I've removed one bike as you can see from the the board already um, it's a primed board so it's all primed and ready to paint with uh, you know enamels or acrylics I'm starting to remove some of the bikes here it's very simple there's just kind of a little one thing holding it in place and it almost pops out and you can either push it through or pull it out there we go simple as that and it really shows you when you get out of the board how the finest detail that it has. I mean, it's got the chain, the pedal. That is pretty fine. Removing the the saddle or the seat is, is pretty simple as well. The reeb kind of through at the back there, and then just get your knife or your maybe a cocktail stick and just push it through. And if it does need tidied up there at the back, I use these kind of file boards. This is an Albion Alloys one, you get them in a pack of two. And you just, that's it, cleaned up, done. And the, uh, the handlebars look quite intricate and quite delicate as well, so just be careful prizing them out. Now I tend to prime things before I um, put them together, purely because I find if I don't prime it, when I put a coat of paint on it doesn't seem to you know, give an even coverage as easily, now obviously depending on what colour you're putting on but I just like to prime it because I could base this for any paint right there we go, I've got the, the handlebars right there, they're tiny they really are tiny so there's a whole bike there ready to be assembled now it's taken me about two minutes not even that so I'll go and get the glue and I'll put one of these together. The adhesive that I'm going to use, as I've already kind of covered, is the the rocket card glue. Now it comes with a kind of applicator, it seems to get awfully clogged up actually, and on top of that you could fit the pinpoint applicator. However, this is such a small task, what I've done is I've, I've kind of squirted some of the glue onto a scrap of paper. And I like to use a needle, just a you know a sewing needle or a pin, and I just get a wee bit of the glue. Now this this rocket card glue is water based, and it dries clear. So if any spills, you just kind of mop it up with a damp, um, you know, paper towel or something. Now the instructions are quite easy to follow. It tells you where to put the glue. Arrows telling you where to put the actual parts. It looks kind of be simpler to be honest with you. And um, take a wee bit of glue on the needle and dab it on the top of the saddle. Now if you've got paint on this or primer, you might want to just file it off. It would help the um, the connection between the uh, the parts. And I just hover my saddle over there. Can I squeeze it into position? 
like that. Check that it's sitting straight and sitting horizontal. It is. Could do a bike stand here to to hold them up while I'm doing this. Maybe uh, maybe that with the next project that um, comes out of scale model scenery. And then a wee bit of glue. I'm gonna put a bit of glue on this bit actually, and then pick the bike up again. And then just position it on, check the instructions, I see we're doing it right. It's very, very delicate. It's not easy when they've got a camera sitting your way. Here we go, I'll just manoeuvre that into position. Again. It's under a two minute job, and there's the bike. And then obviously you're going to let that dry, and you're going to make inroads on the next step, which is paint it up. I just come across a quick, kind of quick idea how to get these bikes together, um, even easier than it is already. I just put the seat down there, and I put a bit of glue on top of the the pillar. I just position the the frame over the seat. Press it down, pick it up, done. That's better than fiddling with a with a small um, seat in your in your hand. Obviously, when it comes to the handlebars, there's no way no way you can do that because handlebar is tiny. But you dab a glue there. If you do go over score with the glue, remember it dries clear. And then you take the handlebars and you press to each side of the, the frame. There we go. Simple. I'm now ready to paint the bikes and what I'm using is a range of Humbrol acrylics and I've got a, a series of uh, colours there. I've got dark greys, I've got uh, greens, I've got uh, a yellow. And the one I'm using just now actually is the uh, RC406 which is red. Now the beauty about using acrylics is that they dry quickly. So if you've missed a bit or you need to go and you know reapply another coat because it's maybe not covered correctly, then that's the, the beauty of them. The drawback is they tend to be thinner, so you know they don't cover as, as well as say an enamel. And I'll be using some enamels as well, but just for purpose for the video, I'm using the acrylics. And first of all, I've got to paint the frame. You can see there that frame has been painted red. That takes a good two or three minutes, to be honest, because you've got to do the, the both sides and then the kind of tops and then the bottoms. So if I take you through this little one here, I'll do another red one. It's not a bright, 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 vibrant red. Because I've put a grey primer on it, it'll tend to dull it a little bit as well. Now, it's quite fidgety, so I hope you can see on the camera there. I'm going to um, just hold it, the back wheels and the tweezers for now and it's a case of just loading the brush and now don't be too bothered if you go into bits that you know are going to be black like the tyres because you know dark colours will, all, will always cover lighter colours better than the other way around so don't start with the black for the tyres and then go on to the, the areas that are going to be coloured because that will be more difficult for you to cover that with the colour. It will take longer, more coats. So just kind of apply it as best you can. The handlebars will be a mix of the colour and maybe just maybe black rubber grips at the end of the, the handlebars. Depends what era you're doing this bike. If it's a more modern bike then obviously colours. If it's a period bike, you're obviously looking at blacks basically. Maybe a bit of silver for the um, handlebars and maybe a brown leather seat or something, I don't know. That's where Google Images comes into it and you can just find the, the bike that you want. So I'm just applying this quite liberally for the purposes of the video. The kind of mud guard at the back, they would be coloured in, same colour as the body. And there's even a little bit of frame there that goes into the middle of the wheel. Now, if I do the underside of it as well, 
I wouldn't recommend holding these uh, bikes in a vice if you've you know if you've obviously maybe not a steady hand. Um, tweezers are probably the best option. If you hold it in a vice, you'll end up crushing the the laser cut parts. There we go. Take it off the tweezers and finish off with the hands because I've got to get into there. It's almost starting to dry as I'm putting it on. I think it's because of the light. Let's paint all the handlebars red just now. Turn over and check anything I've missed. I can see I'm maybe going to put another coat on this just to cover certain areas. Again, you know, nobody's going to be looking at it with a fine tooth comb, so don't, you know, don't, don't fret about it not being 100%. That's kind of it now. I'll leave that to dry, and then I'll come back and show you the, the painting of the, the dark pieces, like the, the saddle, um, the wheels, and possibly the pedals. The final task is just painting up the, the black parts of the bike. As you can see here, I've just done one with a, a Humbrol 33 and I've used actually enamel for this just so I think it, it's quite thick and it goes on and covers quite well for the black. And I've tried to cut in the bits that are black and uh, miss the bits that are red, even getting down to the black pedal there the saddle and the end of the handlebars just picking out the rubber grips. So I'll go ahead and do that with the rest of them and then they'll be ready to place in the layout.